guys, it's Michelle here. Thanks for joining me today and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a patron spread for Michelle and Michelle wants her currently, she almost always wants her currently decorated for the month. And she wants a dog theme this month because she's so excited she got a new dog. It's a golden doodle and I'm gonna put his picture on the screen. His name is Teddy and he's just so cute and cuddly and playful looking. So I know she's super excited and I'm excited too to decorate this spread for her because I love dogs too and I am just so excited for her, thrilled. And I pulled some stickers. I pulled out the Pets sticker book from the Happy Planner and then a couple of pages of these kind of stickers. This is, they're actually the same dogs that are in this, but they're larger and they're on paper. These came from the original Joanne Mega Book. Then on the Cricut, I made a dog house and a sun and some shrubs and trees and things. Then I've also got these petite sticker books, the colorful dogs and Bad to the Bone. This one's really old. I don't know if, if I'll use all of these or what I'm gonna use. And then I made some currently prompts on the Cricut. This font is called Bikini Babe, and this one is called Happy Crafted. And then this was just a, a quote on the Cricut, dogs are my favorite people, but I made this one that says stay positive, and then a big woof. And then also I put some of the little quirky holidays as, re as well as the, the holidays like Father's Day and the first day of summer and things like that. I printed those on this little box, and so that's what I have to get started with. I do wanna use the dog house for sure. All right, let's see. Oh, it's so cute. I think I'm gonna have it just right over here on the on the side. That way it covers up that all that stuff I don't need. I added a couple of things onto it. It was kind of a basic dog house. And just, you know, welded them together on the Cricut. But you could easily do uh, make one with cardstock or something like that. Okay, so let's see. I guess I'll go ahead and use this tree up here for balance. And I wanna go ahead and use this sun sticker. I printed it on paper so it would cover up this dot grid. that. Let's go ahead and use this currently word right up here. Hmm. I might scoot the sun over actually because I don't want to have the currently right next to that. I didn't think about that. Scoot it right over here. Okay, then I can put currently right over here. All right, it's a great start. I'm digging it. Let's do next. Okay, so let's get some of these dogs over here. This little black one right here. I wish this one was turned the other way. I'll do this little pug or bulldog, whatever it is. And then I'll use this gray dog. Over in the corner. So I'm gonna 
to trim these off. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Oh, here we go. Okay, how about this blue one is perfect? Let's put that right there. If I had a little half circle or something, I'm gonna look in that year of planning and see if I can find a half circle to put right there to cover that and to put my little label in that says holidays and special dates. So let me see what colors we have. Let's do this green one, this will work. I just don't like that showing. And I don't want to white it out or cover it up with sticker paper. But I am going to white it out so it doesn't show through this sticker. I think this is going to be pretty perfect because it matches the colors that I used for the doghouse. Let me see. I need it to just barely... layer onto this. Okay, and I'm gonna put one of these smaller dogs uh, standing on that box. Okay, it's the next day, y'all. I kind of got stuck last night, so I had to give it a rest and sleep on it. But I printed another quote that I think is going to be really cute. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm sorry I can't. I have plans with my dog. I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going to use these. These are individual letters. Let me do the O first. And I think I'm going to have a little dog. Not that one. I was just trying out a golden doodle icon. But I think that I'm going to have a little dog in the middle of the O peeking in. I know this is taking up a lot of room, but it's a special spread. I know Michelle's so excited to have a dog and her little boy is probably just over the moon excited. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, and then I made a smaller woof because that other one was a little bit too big. This one is still big. Well, I might use one in one of the books. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. But I need to get some boxes on here now. And I made some of those too, just to go with the color of the doghouse. So, let's see. I may have to move currently up a little bit or take it off altogether to have more room. Cause I know, you know, this is a currently sheet, Michelle. I'll do that and put this up here. So I'll make a small cluster down here and a cluster up here. This one here. I 
And let's see, maybe we'll do this one. And a brighter blue kind of sliding out like this. Okay, now let's get some boxes down here. I could do let's do a bigger square green one. Let's do this. I'm going to lift that dog up. Okay, I'm going to lift them up too, just because I think that'll be cute. Just barely layered on that. Okay, and while they're lifted up, let's put this here too. So we can add one more thing in that. And let me go ahead and white out that blue there. Okay, now all I want to do is add in the words and then put a little dog in there. So let me get the pets book. So what color dog have I not used? Let's see. Well, I could do a clear one. This little spotted one would be cute in there, I think. I'm just gonna kind of cut him in a curve so he'll sit right in there. Looks like he's peeking out of that O. Oh, it's cute. I like that. Okay, and then I feel like I need another box over here, but the only color I have is I don't have the brighter blue, which is what I would need. I think I'll just cut this one down because it, it really needs to have that slender, brighter blue. Okay. Perfect. So I'm just gonna have that one there. And then that's all the boxes I need. I think it looks so cute. I maximized the space. Okay, now let's do the words. So we need something right here. Let's see.
I'll do going right here, Michelle, where you can write just where you're going a lot, what store or to work or whatever in there. And over here, let's do, well, I'm going to do watching in the big one because I know last time I watched Michelle's, um, she had a write with me, like a plan with me where she's writing in on her currently sheet. She has a YouTube channel too. I'll link that in the description box. But she had tons of shows and I only gave her a very small space to write. So I told her next time I would give her more. Okay, and well, let's see. I'm going to put looking forward to in the bigger one because it's long and it'll fit perfectly in there. And we'll do eating right here in this, this one. Let's do buying in the green one. Actually, I think I'll do buying in this one. I'm going to scoot it down too because it looks like it's lined up too much with that one. Oh, I have one more of this, this one right here. So well, let's see, what do we want to do? Embracing, wearing, crafting, or loving? Let's do loving. Just like that. And let's see, I was thinking I might want to do a couple of some of these behind these dogs. Okay, let me just tuck it under the little black dog and we'll be good. Okay, since my, I made my sticker too big, the woof sticker, I could do just this little rough that came out of that book. That's pretty cute, isn't it? Okay, and I just wanna put a couple of little dogs here and there. I have this tiny colorful dogs petite sticker book. There's some really small ones here. Let's do a wiener dog right there. And then another one sitting here. These are so cute. Oh, here's a little Chihuahua. Perfect. Well, no, he's, he's the same color as the wiener dog. So let's do something different. I like this one. Okay, where else could I squeeze one? <laughs> Maybe up here. Maybe I could do a chihuahua here because he's gonna be hanging out with this gray dog. Kind of breaks up. It doesn't look like they're so near each other. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this dog spread. Michelle, I hope you love this as much as I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, and that's perfect because he's a tiny chihuahua. Okay. Um, I could scoot going over and do this one little black dog sitting on the corner there. Oh yeah, he's gonna fit. Okay, perfect. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. this dog. 
Okay, and that's all I think I'm going to do to it. This was, has been such a fun spread. I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would also love it if you considered subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss any of my posts. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye! Sniffing. He is sniffing. Say hi. Hi. Oh, Rainy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Rainy. He's sniffing. Good boy. Look at you.